Today, I'm going to be asking an AI to make items for my Terraria mod. Now you may have heard of a website called ChatGPT, link in the description. That's the AI that I'm going to use to give me three ideas for weapons or items I can add to my Terraria mod. Right now I'm working on a mod that overhauls the melee subclass of short swords. I know, but short swords suck. I don't care. Alright, so let's get this AI to give us some ideas. I asked it to give me three ideas for stuff to add to my mod, and out of all three, I decided to choose the one that it called the Chrono Armor, a set of armor that gives the player the ability to manipulate time. There are some things in vanilla that kind of do this already, like the bed and the enchanted sundial, so I'm just going to make it able to stop time in its tracks. I'm not going to show how I make the items, because that's not what this video is about, but here it is, the Chrono Armor. It gives the player the ability to stop time. Also, since this is a short sword mod, I made it have some short sword stats. To activate the effect, you have to hold the down key. I might change that, but I don't know. It could be useful if you're taking too long to beat bosses and they keep despawning because it turns day. Let's be honest though, who really has that problem? This is definitely a hard mode armor set because of its high defense, but I don't know specifically what point you should get it at yet. If you have knowledge of progression in this game, comment when you should get this armor. These are the stats. Next, I asked the AI to give me three ideas for specifically modded short swords. And out of all three, I chose the ice sword that it suggested. I've been wanting to add an ice themed weapon anyway, so. You can't really freeze enemies in Terraria, so I can just make it inflict the frostburn debuff. But yeah, here it is. I decided to name it the glacial finish because I thought it sounded cool. Think of it as like the short sword version of the frost brand, I guess. It shoots an ice projectile just like it, but it doesn't have as much range. Right now, it actually pierces infinitely. I'm definitely gonna change that. Even though the guide has dripped out of his mind, I'm still gonna test his sword on him and his friends. Oh. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I actually kind of feel bad about that one. But yeah, here are the stats for the glacial finish. For the last item I'm gonna make, I asked the AI to give me nine different ideas for unique weapons to add, and the one that I ended up choosing was the shatter blade. I'm not good at modding, so I can't make enemies shatter into pieces, but I can make the sword shatter into pieces. Since gems don't have a lot of uses in Terraria yet, I decided to make the Shatter Blade a gem short sword instead. And when you strike an enemy, it shatters into three pieces that can penetrate two times. I ended up actually making a short sword for every variant of gem, and here they are. First, I'm going to use it on these test dummies. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And of course, we have to test it on the King Slime. What do you think? Should these be better or not? Here are the stats for each one. I think they're pretty unique, and I think it would be a shame if they just weren't that good. I know I kind of changed up a lot of the ideas that the AI gave me, but I kind of had to because I'm not really skilled enough to do some of that stuff. But yeah, those are three items added to Terraria using ChatGPT. Hopefully, I'll finish the mod, and maybe it'll be cool. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, even though it was short, leave a like. If there's anybody actually watching the video, then comment some suggestions that you have for my mod, and maybe I'll add them. And also consider subscribing. That'd be cool. Anyways, that's about it. See ya.